Hi, I'm Andrew Gunton. Uh, I'm from Oxley uh, United Church in, uh, in one of the western suburbs of Brisbane and Queensland. Um, my, um, I've been, uh, been really excited to be part of the, uh, the Queensland Community Alliance uh, and uh, to help, I guess, connect church to back to community because I felt there was a real lack of, uh, of uh, ways that church uh, has become, uh, this church has become much more isolated, I think, from the community around them. And this was a way to try to help uh, the church members actually engage in their community and find out what are the needs of the community, what are the, what are the things that the people in the community are concerned about in their local area. And so uh, being yeah, engaged with that and, uh, and enjoying, uh, at the moment, being on the board of the Queensland Community Alliance and, uh, and having a bit of a broader picture of what's going on with the, in Queensland and how we might engage in, in some significant issues uh, around the state, not just in the Brisbane area, but hoping to put that into practice as I do some listening in my own community as well. And was the arrival of or the involvement of the church in something like this treated with suspicion or joy, or how were you received? Yeah, look, I think it's interesting that uh, a number of people were kind of suspicious because it ha is an alliance with uh, unions, community groups, and faith communities. And, uh, and so people are, can, uh, may have had you know, experiences of unions and even community groups, I guess, and particularly other faith communities that maybe they haven't been always um, as positive. And, uh, and so some people have been quite anxious about that. Uh, some people have really grasped it well, and, uh, and it's probably appealing to those people who, who m may have had some interactions with some of those groups and communities in the past. And, uh, but... Others are slowly coming on board and I think we're seeing, uh, particularly as the issues come out and they're realising, hey, these are important issues to me as well. And so that's really bringing people on board in, in a number of areas. So has it mostly made you feel overwhelmed or hopeful, given that you're engaging with big, big issues? Yeah, look, look it's quite hopeful actually. I, I, at first I was probably sceptical when I started to engage, uh, probably about four or five years ago now when the Alliance first initially started. But now I've seen some really positive changes on how we've actually helped uh, change uh, government mind and government influence government policy. And uh, we've had some very firm support from the Premier of Queensland uh, at, uh, at, at our founding um, uh, Alliance Assembly last year. And uh, the Premier of the State was there and uh, gave some very concrete assurances uh, following some of those things up, uh, of course, is always a little bit more difficult, but some really po positive things. And a campaign that I worked on uh, has been about, um, particularly about uh, seasonal labour. And, uh, and the Queensland Government has introduced new laws around labour hire companies and, uh, and particularly targeting uh, labour hire companies that work with seasonal pickers. And so... It's been great, and, and that has been, we believe, a direct result of Community Alliance and, and the support we've had there. Uh, so it's been fantastic. And do you see yourself doing this as part of your ministry or as an add-on in your spare time? And uh, do you see yourself doing... How does your Christian faith kind of inform the decision to be involved? Uh, no, I, I very much see it as part of my ministry, and I, and I think it's... a. And for me, it's about uh, valuing everyone. It's about valuing people, and it's about valuing their worth, valuing what uh, they do, uh, and valuing their, uh, their the, what the issues that really affect people on the ground and their in their every day. And for me, that's about how God values each and every one of us, uh, no matter race, creed, colour, gender, all those things. Uh, and so, this is about valuing those people who who may be marginalised because of a whole variety of issues. Another big project we're doing in Ipswich is about mental health uh, and again, fantastic support and quite a, uh, quite a su substantial amount of financial support coming from the government after raising this issue and after describing it as a, a significant uh, issue for the people of that area. And so we really see these projects as, as vital for people to... For people to be the people that God created them to be. I think in, you might have said this, but in Sydney, the Uniting Church kind of structurally is part of the Sydney Alliance, like as 
part of as an institution. Is that the same in Queensland, or is it just like you and a couple of interested people? No, no. The synod's been very supportive of this. Uh, synod has, is a major partner. Uh, in fact, in Queensland, we are the uh, as a denomination, we're the only denomination that has actually fully joined. Uh, uh, some other uh, churches, individual congregations uh, have joined, uh, and individual congregations through the United Church can join, but the Synod is a contributing part, as well as uh, the presbyteries in the southeast corner are also financial uh, partners, as are some congregations. Uh, and so this has become part of the life of uh, the, the Synod of Queensland as well.